All right, everyone. Welcome to the tutorial for the USDK to SDK transfer. Uh, this will be part one. Uh, we're just going to get you started and working on the mod here. So first, you're going to want to get the SDK, which is found on the Epic Launcher. You're going to go into the store, and from there, you're going to look for uh, Mordhau Editor. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer. Mordhau Editor. It'll take you to this page, and this link will say Get Game. You'll click that, and then once you click it, you'll have In Library, and then you download it. And then it'll go it'll be available here on your Quick Launch, so then you'll be able to click it open anytime. And when you open open this, there'll be a little pop-up bar that'll kind of give you quick tips and how to get into modding and such and using Unreal Editor. Uh, but if you're experienced and you're just here to transfer your maps, then you can skip that and just click out of that. And it'll take you to this, this starting map. Uh, this is my starting map for the USDK. And we'll get started here. So uh, before you actually open the editor, you're going to want to transfer some stuff. We're going to do this the safe way. Um, the safe way is take all the packs that you have. Uh, so you can take your map pack. Let's just do that real quick. So you can, so let's say, more now content, now maps. And there's your map folders, just like this. And we're going to just take Night Raid, for example. So what we can do is take this. I don't think I have it here, right? I do. Darn. Let's uh, try a different one. Um, where's the cave? I don't think I have that one, do I? I don't. Okay, so we're going to take the cave, copy, and you're going to paste here. But you don't want to have the editor open when you do this. So you'll close these and transfer them. Uh, the maps won't work, so let's take a look what's in the cave right now. Uh, the maps, the different sublevels, the, the core map itself, and then all the assets the, um, built data here. Those won't transfer over. So what you're going to have to do is take the assets and make a new folder. So let's do that now. This won't affect it right now, so we're, we're good. Uh, the cave. And I can do this. Copy. Paste. And it's okay if you copy paste. It won't actually damage anything because it's going to be referring to the Mordhau game. And for this, it'll just be Mordhau recap. So you should be good to go. Now, when you transfer it, the only things that won't work are the cues and any blueprints that you might have. So you're going to have to modify that, copy paste those into a text file, and then transfer it over to the new version in, a, in an empty uh, blueprint. Uh, similar to a cube, but it'd be easier just to make a new queue from whatever um, wave file that you have in there. For me, I have the rise, um, and that just transfers over fine. It's the queues that won't transfer though. So if you have the actual wave file, that'll actually be better than this. Um, that should be one for one, and then if you want to transfer your level over, you go back to. Oh, this is actually not the right one. Folder. The cave. Shared assets, and you want to make sure that the folders are the same name. You can move that there. Let's go back there. And so now we have just the map. So what we do here is we're pretty much done with this. We can actually leave this alone. We'll go back here to the editor, and from there we'll go maps. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. Oh, you can. Wow, it's actually pretty quick. And from here, you can just copy the level, or actually make a new level first. The cave. This will be the core map. And then you go here to Mordhau. Uh, let's actually get rid of this. Maps. The cave. Go to the core. And as that's loading, you open this up, which will be... Fine, you save that, make sure it's saved, and it'll be this. This is what you're gonna get. It's just a black map, empty space, and that's all you really want. So once we open the cave, it'll get to the map, and what you're gonna do is in the editor, you're gonna click in the viewport and press Control A, and once you do that, it'll get pop up a little menu saying, hey, uh, warning, you're gonna be copying this many actors. Are you sure you wanna do this? You say yes, accept, and then you accept the second one, and then you go into the SDK where your map is already loaded and then you just press control uh, V which is paste and then it'll be one for one uh, if you ha are using Mordhau assets 
and there's something missing. Uh, what likely happened is uh, the developers moved the file. So what you'll do is you'll have that asset in your SDK, copy paste it to your shared assets, and then you'll just re-reference it in the map. And it's pretty easy. You just go to the outline, and then you select it individually. Uh, Cave is actually a big map, so it's taking forever to load. Uh, but yeah, you'll go into the out the details of each um, file that you use place that doesn't have anything in there. That's pretty much just an empty actor. And you go to the details, which will have like a section where it's a static mesh, and it says nothing nothing applicable. And you'll go and search for that, and you'll click. Let's just say that this is this is the static mesh. Now this is blueprint, but just pretend this is static mesh. You'll go in, and then you'll just replace it. Um, oh, finally, here we go. So like this. Here's the world outline. You go to details, and this this is what I was referring to. This static mesh box. So it'll say empty if it doesn't have anything. And then you just go to the world outline, and then you go through all this here to make sure that you have the right asset. Uh, you find the right asset, we'll say that's it. Details, and you press this arrow and it will apply it. Uh, obviously that's not the mesh, but that's just an example. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we'll cut that piece out and not have to worry about that. Um, what's next is blueprints. Yeah, like I said earlier, you have to just uh, copy paste it to a text file and then you can paste it over. Uh, and I'll just do this real quick just so you guys can see it control a control c yes you want to proceed yep landscape now this is going to take a long time it might actually even freeze your computer for a little bit but it will work click in the viewport control b and now you see that the hat here is kind of stopped and froze that's because it's uh transferring all the stuff over and everything should be one for one and if it isn't, then you'll notice pretty quickly what it is. Now that I just now noticed the foliage didn't transfer over. But honestly, that's not actually a bad thing. It's actually fairly easy to replace. Uh, we're going to get to where this is. Location. I'll just go where exactly. Just go here. See if the foliage didn't transfer over. And that's fine, you're, you're gonna have that problem. You just have to redo the foliage. Now this map didn't actually use a lot of foliage, it's just right out here that it uses it. So I got lucky there. Uh, the lighting is not quite the same. So you have to touch up with that. So you'll notice that in this side, the lights are actually shown, but they're not in the SDK and that's because this is a blueprint so make sure you go into the blueprints and reconnect all that uh, let's browse that asset here it is let's see if it's in here too LCG torch torch so those didn't transfer over so what we'll do is we'll take this LCG torch and it's a pretty simple blueprint this is, this is the quicker way to do it, so we'll do that. We'll open this, and then we'll just make a new blueprint. That's just the actor. We're going to rename it the same, LCG Torch 1. Already exists. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I guess I'm going to delete that. Let's see if this transfers. It does. But you're going to have to rebuild the lights. That's okay. Uh, all right, and for all the lights, make sure everything's either stationary or static. You want to not have as much light as possible. Uh, but for the most part, let's try make sure that these settings are one for one. Directional light. One for one, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So far, so good. I think the transfer one for one. If if you have custom assets that you want to transfer, those which are just transfer one for one, at least for static meshes, blueprints, you will have to kind of fiddle around a bit just to get it to work. But for the most part, your map will load as you had it before. Um, textures will likely have to re, be re, uh, uh, re-referenced, and that way you can get it colored right. Because right, I don't even think these ones are 
I reference correctly, anyway, yeah, so I can just add in a different material. I'm not even going to use this original, the original materials because I don't think it actually ever worked. I just had it here just to block out light. So what you can do is you can look for different materials in the SDK that have been added. Uh, we'll do rock and we'll filter out uh, materials. Material. This is good enough, right? We'll open this, make sure it's working. It's not working right now, so we're going to fix that real quick. This is called Cliff Rock. We're going to open this, type in Cliff Rock. And this is the base color, so look for the base color. We'll do this one. And this one is the normal. We'll do a similar search. And this is the normal. And there you save it. How you can replace that. And now you can go in the outliner. Select all, go to the materials here, and replace all the empty ones. And now they have uh, materials. Simple enough, right? Alright, and that's pretty much it. Uh, your landscape should transfer. As you see, my landscape actually does have texture, and I haven't even needed to apply it. So as long as you transfer everything one for one, you should be fine in the File Explorer. And then you open up the editor, and then you do the copy-paste, uh, just as a quick summary. And that should get you started here. And I'm using 4.20 USDK. It's transferring to the SDK. Uh, make sure if you're going to transfer packs that you do transfer them here. And this will give you... Uh, little menu saying uh, what version do you want it to use here for the SDK and you'll say 425 and then you can start transferring all these packs that you have for your SDK and you can just apply it to your uh, Mordhau SDK. And that's pretty much it. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit but I try to keep this short and simple. Anywho, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll be making more. Uh, hopefully the next one will be to publish on Mod.io and just let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like to see and we'll get to it. Hopefully this next week I'll have a little bit of time. Hey, who? This is Lord Commander Guts, aka Mike G, signing off. Please give me a follow and subscribe. It does my channel really, really good when you do. Thank you, guys.